Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe Illustrator CS5. This is just going to be a basic rundown of the design tools, so there is no specific tutorial here. Uh, all I'm going to be doing is showing you all of the tools that you'll be having at your disposal uh, in, in uh, or, I'm sorry, in Illustrator and uh, what they're used for. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first one that you'll see here, I'll go ahead and drag these over here so they'll be a little closer to me. Uh, the first thing that you'll see here is your direct selection tool. The hotkey for that is V. Uh, you can select that and that will allow you to take items, text, shapes, images, whatever it is on your screen and just move them around in the in a general area where you may want them. Uh, the next one is called the direct selection tool. Uh, what you can actually do with the direct selection tool is you can go in and actually edit points. Uh, so when you're using the pen tool you can actually go in here. Uh, so let's say we have something that has been drawn out with the pen tool here. So let's grab our pen tool and draw a uh, shape here with the pen tool. Once we have that we can get our direct selection tool and we can drag points individually. If you have your uh, regular selection tool all you'll be able to do is just drag it around the artboard. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The next tool you'll have is your magic wand tool. Uh, this one and the last, well no, the magic wand tool is to go ahead and get backgrounds off of images, backgrounds uh, behind text. Uh, you can go back through and delete those things from behind it. Uh, next is the lasso tool. The lasso tool is used to cut out certain areas of an image or a something that you have drawn with the pen tool. Uh, the pen tool is what you just saw here. Uh, it's got a couple uh, selections here. Under the pen tool, there is the pen tool, the add anchor point, and delete anchor point, as well as the convert the anchor point. Uh, the pen tool is used for drawing uh, just specific objects and curving lines and being able to kind of adjust and, uh, you know, make shapes the way you want them. That's going to be your primary drawing art tool within uh, Illustrator. It will be the pen tool because you can go through and create images and then apply masks to them and then create whatever you would like. So I'm going to delete that now. And then obviously you have your type tool which is used um, for text. So you just click on the artboard where you want to type text and you can type in any kind of text that you want. Uh, so that's the type tool. Uh, and within the type tool there are many other options such as changing the font, changing the size, the bold point, uh, centered, uh, opacity, fill point, whatever it may be, you can do all of that within the text tool. Next you have the line tool right here. Within the line tool you have the arc, spiral, rectangular grid, and polar grid tool. Uh, line tool is used for just drawing. If you hold down shift you can draw a uh, regular line here and uh, a straight line just to make sure you have a straight line there and you can go back click on the line tool and click and drag and make sure you have a nice line and as always you can go back up adjust the point size of that make it thicker or thinner just depending on however you want to do it. Uh, so so once you have your line drawn, uh, like I told you a while ago, you can go to your direct selection tool and you can always edit this by double clicking and do and you can actually extend your line, you can make it at an angle, uh, and you can do all of that with your direct selection. I'm sorry, your um uh, excuse me, your direct selection tool. Uh, under the line tool, we have the rectangle tool. Uh, rectangle tool. Uh, you'll be able to draw uh, rectangles, rounded rectangles, ellipses, polygons, stars, and flares. Uh, so you see here we have the ellipse, and once you click on that, you can click and hold, and you will have an ellipse that you can draw and change the color of the stroke as well as the fill. So that is what you do with that tool. The paintbrush tool is, uh, there's so much you can do with the paintbrush tool. Uh, you can go and, and download different brushes and I have a video for that if you would like to know how to download brushes. But the paint tool is primarily uh, for going in and just drawing some nice lines and uh, going in and adding some detail to your images within uh, Illustrator. Pencil tool is the same as the uh, brush tool except obviously the strokes are going to be a little thinner and uh, it's, it doesn't work the same way as the brush tool in that you, you, know, you can't really download a specific pencil uh, brushes. Uh, the next what you'll have is the blob brush tool and what this does is this can go through and it can add different effects uh, within the colors that you have already put into Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so you can go in and add all kind of different effects with the blob tool. Uh, next we have our eraser tool and you can always make this bigger or smaller depending on how big or how small you want to erase. So you can go in here and erase all the stuff that you've done but I'm not going to do that. 
uh, now. Your rotate tool, this is very important. You can go up and you can rotate from a point. Uh, so what you can do here is you can add different stuff that you can rotate. Uh, so you can go in here and you can actually reflect something. So you can uh, select something and then grab your rotate tool and then with that you can go up and you can rotate this and make it go any angle that you would like for it to. So if you want your text at a nice little rotated angle, you can do that by using the rotate tool. The next tool will be your scale tool. Uh, the scale tool, what this will do is it will make the whatever you have selected, uh, you can flip it around and scaling it means making it bigger or smaller by dragging the mouse down or up. So uh, you can choose what you want to do with that. Next we have our width tool which this will adjust the width within text and shapes. You have your free transform tool, which will allow you to transform different points within your images. Next, you have a shape builder tool and perspective grid tool. These tools I'm not going to get into too much detail with right now. Uh, you have your mesh tool, which you can add a nice mesh effect on anything, images, shape, text, whatever it may be. And, of course, your gradient tool, which will allow you to select a, uh, something that you have colored and uh, add a gradient mesh to that. Uh, and then you can have a one color fading into another color with the gradient mesh tool. Your eyedropper tool is used to select a color and be able to use that color with something else. So say you have an image that you've downloaded from the internet, you want to match some text with that color, you go in, you select whatever color it is, uh, so let's, let's say I want to change this text up here to the color that's within this circle. I will go here, select my text, go to my eyedropper tool right down here, select that pink right there, and then if you deselect that off, you'll see that color right there is now the same color as the color that I just selected. Uh, and then down here, you have your blend tool. You can blend different uh, items, shapes, and text together. Your symbol sprayer, you can make symbols and spray those all over your artboard. Uh, column, you can make columns and graphs directly from this, depending on which one you want to make, line graphs, pie graphs, uh, bar graphs, whatever you want to do. I'm sorry, pie charts. Uh, and then you have your artboard tool, and what this does is this will allow you to go in, very important, you can edit your artboard. So if you want your artboard to be bigger, go into your artboard tool, make it a little bigger, make sure you got everything within your artboard because that is going to be your workspace and when you save your document, that is what you're going to be saving. So you want to make sure your artboard is big enough for all of the items that are within your artboard. Next is the slice tool, which is kind of like a cropping tool. You can go in and actually go ahead and cut specific items out of your project. The hand tool here will allow you to, if you have a big project, allow you to scroll through by using the hand tool by clicking and dragging. And of course, lastly, you have your zoom tool. Tool, which you can go in and click on and zoom specific areas. You can also hit command or control plus and that will zoom in and command and control minus and that will also zoom out as well. So guys, this is just a basic overview of the tools within Adobe Illustrator CS5. If you have any questions about any of these tools specifically, you can put them in the comment box below and I hope you enjoyed this video and got some use out of it and I will see you guys next time.